Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute clay trays. I'm going to show you how to make a ditto, ditto Pikachu, and also a cute clay duck. I'm using air dried clay for this video and the brand I'm using is by Das. I personally chose this brand because I read that it's less likely to crack when it dries and it also doesn't shrink as much. The first clay creation I'm making is a ditto figure. For this, you want to roll your piece of clay into a ball. Then I'm going to flatten the clay. Ditto basically looks like a blob of jello. So what I'm going to do is just pinch the sides to create the legs and arms. I don't even know if you will call it the legs and arms, but you know what I mean. Right now, it almost looks like as if I'm making a star. But after you're finished with that, you want to use your finger or another tool to create an indent at the top. I also created indents on the bottom so it's more wavy. I'm going to let this dry for 24 hours. Now I'm going to start painting and I want to thank Arteza for sending me these products for review. This is not sponsored so I'm not getting paid to make this video. But they were really kind enough to set me a set of art supplies that I can review for this video. So you'll be needing acrylic paint for this video, and it doesn't really matter what brand you use. Arteza also sent me this pack of acrylic markers. They're basically paint pens, and they're very convenient for painting small details. This one I'm showing is the black marker, and to activate it, you need to shake it and then pump the tip. I'm going to paint Ditto with a lavender color. And for the eyes, I'm using the paint pen. I used the white one to create highlights. The last step is to protect your paint with a varnish. Another option is to use UV resin, which is a lot thicker and it will leave your creation looking shiny. Next, I'm going to make the Pikachu trinket tray. For this, you want to roll out your clay. And if you don't have a rolling pin, feel free to use a glass cup or anything else cylinder. Then I'm cutting out the shape using an X-Acto knife and you want to be very very careful when you're using this. You don't want to cut your hands. This part is really satisfying how the clay just comes right off. And if you notice, this is not a regular Pikachu. It's going to be a ghost or ditto Pikachu. For any rough edges, you can use water and smooth it out. I placed the clay on a bowl so that it will drive curved. This step is also optional, but if you want your clay trays to be extra smooth, you can get a piece of sandpaper and sand them down. If you're going to do this, make sure to do it in a well-ventilated area and to wear a mask. Here's my Pikachu tray after a day of drying. I mixed white, yellow, and a little bit of orange paint for Pikachu. I really love this acrylic set because it comes in so many different colors. And it's also high quality, I noticed that it's thicker than the cheap acrylic paint that I'm used to. One thing to note is that I did have to work fast with this paint because it started getting streaky as it started to dry. I'm using the acrylic marker again to draw the face. Now I'm painting the cheeks. And here's my finished Pikachu after varnishing it. I'm so sad though because I accidentally tripped the backside. The final Pokemon craft is Ditto and it's basically the same steps as Pikachu so I'm not going to go into detail with the steps. I rolled out a piece of clay and cut out my shape. If you have any rough edges, you can smooth this out with your finger and water. Here's how my Ditto looks like. Again, I'm using the Lavender paint by Arteza. I did two coats of this paint, but one layer might be enough too because it actually covered quite a lot with just one layer. I'm drawing the same face as I did with the mini Ditto figure I made earlier in the video. I also really love these acrylic markers, they make my life so much easier. But if you don't have these markers, don't worry, you can use a toothpick and acrylic paint. 
And here's the final product after I sprayed it with varnish. This one is a cup holder, by the way, not a trinket tray. And the final one is a bonus, which is a chicken trinket tray. After I rolled out my clay, I used the top of a spray can to use it as a cookie cutter. You can also consider using a cup. Then I'm rolling out another piece of clay and you want to make this as even as possible. Then I flatten this out with my fingers. I have to say this one was by far the hardest one to make because it was difficult to attach these pieces together. I'm going to wrap this piece of clay around the circle I made earlier and measure out how much of the clay I need. Any excess can be cut with a knife. I don't recommend that you follow what I did here. I just went straight to blending out the clay together with a little bit of water and using some tools. To attach these two pieces together, you actually want to score the clay, which is basically scratching the clay and then putting a little bit of slip, which is a mixture of clay and water. And that will just help you blend the two pieces together better. You'll know the clay is completely dry when it turns white. When the clay is still wet, it's like a grayish color, so there's a noticeable difference. I'm going to color this one with yellow, and I'm going to paint the beak orange. And the final step is to add in the details. And after varnishing this, you can see how shiny it became. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!